Hey guys, now in this video, let's discuss an example where we cannot use binding. So again, a quick recap. We have two types of binding. That is input binding and output binding. Now input binding, it means data coming in from Azure resource into Azure function. That means Azure function reads the data from Azure resource within itself. And then output binding, that means data getting pushed to Azure resource from Azure function. That means Azure function writes the data in Azure resource. Now if we discuss an example of output binding, let's say a user posts feedback via HTTP POST API. So again it will be HTTP trigger and in this POST API the body it will contain the feedback posted by the user. And then we can read this feedback contents and we can store it in blog. So in this case we have output binding that is we have blob output that means we are writing the contents in blob using output binding. But guys if you see the code for this example here the caller does not get the actual response. Instead he just gets 200 ok status. So for example if I show you the code. Now again guys I have shared this code on the github ok. Now first thing if you see this is our HTTP trigger right and the body for this post API it will contain the feedback submitted by the user right. So we are simply reading the feedback submitted by the user and we are writing it in blob and how say this blob output. So this is our output binding right. So basically in this variable blob contains we have the feedback submitted by the user and we are returning an instance of submit feedback response and see it has this output data variable and it actually points to this blob output that means the contents they are getting stored in blob because we have this blob output binding right but again the problem here is when we call this HTTP POST API like this and let's say these are the feedback contents we just get 200 ok status error and we do not get any custom response. Now if you want to get custom response, we have to write our explicit code and that code it will look like something like this. Now as in the interest of the time I am not going to write this complete code but I guess this code is self explanatory. So again. This is our HTTP trigger that means user will post feedback contents in the body of that post API. So here we read those contents. Now here we explicitly create connection to our storage account that is connection to our blog. And here we are now explicitly writing the contents to blog. And now observe this. And here we return our custom response to the caller. So this was our code using output binding. It was crisp and short but here we have written the explicit code which reads the contents from post method. It uploads the blog and then it returns the custom response. So this was one of the example where we cannot use binding and we have to write explicit code. But there might be other scenarios as well where we cannot write binding and we have to again write our custom code.